G'day, this is Simon from The Brackets here at, check it out behind me, a crazy busy South OC Cars and Coffee. We are packed to the rafters. Some really cool stuff. Let's go for a walk. So, my Camaro, then Jay's Ford GT. What a beautiful car that is. Tony's 488, Gary's uh, 650S McLaren. Then we've got a Lamborghini. And then a brand spanking new uh, BMW i8. Really nice car. And then uh, th these guys from Rolls Royce uh, Motor Cars of Orange County. What a great turnout. Really great to have them there. These cars are amazing, aren't they? Look at the interior in this thing. Like, isn't it just so beautiful? I don't think anything be beats the coachwork of a Rolls Royce. They are just spectacular. Look at that purple. It makes a statement, doesn't it? It's a white one. Uh, and then, of course, the SUV. You might have seen that uh, on our live post we did earlier. This is the new Rolls Royce SUV. What a beast. Look at the size of that thing. It's a uh, mint green one there. Uh, Ferrari, another McLaren, another Ferrari, another McLaren. Another McLaren just for something different. Beautiful bright orange Lamborghini there. Just love that. AMG, a, uh, another Lambo. Now this car is interesting. Um, the brand new car we've got here, uh, it's called a Draco. And um, just really, really interesting looking car when it came in. Really uh, imposing, just beautiful color as well. So this, uh, I believe it is electric. It has, um, I think you were saying six motors in it. So really interesting looking car. Really nicely done in the interior too. Reminds me a bit of a, um, a Karma in its appearance. Very similar lines to it, so I wouldn't be su surprised if it's not using some of the stuff from Karma. But yeah, interesting, isn't it? Good to see. Next to it, Maserati, Lamborghini, and then some Porsche. Here's the guys from uh, Protective Film Services. Porsche. Another i8. Previous car of the week went in this beautiful Acura, so clean and original. ZR1 Viper. It's really nice looking uh, V12 AMG. And then uh, some Porsche down the end here, through here. Check that out. Over this side, this classic Airstream. I was talking to the owner earlier. This is like one of 100 1960 Airstreams made like this. And in fact, this car in front of it is one of 100 as well, which is kind of cool. Such a beautiful thing. Uh, Porsche. And then uh, we have our Volkswagen Sharp here. Look at this. Roll them through here. So great to see. These have such a fan base of loyal people. Just love them. And why wouldn't you look at them? Love that tilt out windscreen in that one. Chevy. Bentley. And then, uh, of course, Bob's Thunderbird with its suicide doors. Now, this is a potential car of the week winner, I think. Um, I've seen this here a few times. Isn't this beautiful? Such a great, great old car. Look at the, um, the motor in it. Straight eight. That's very cool, isn't it? Very nice. Might have to come back and revisit that. Corvair. A couple of Porsche. Great looking F100 with that patina finish on it. Another one of our regulars is Ford truck, isn't that great? Prowler. Porsche. And then a really nice looking 68 Camaro. Love the houndstooth interior. Really neat too. Next to it, this is another potential car of the week winner. Look at this thing. This is a 67. Yeah, 67 because it's got uh, corner windows. Beautiful um, RS front end on this. Love it. But look at how neat and clean this thing is. Now, a while ago, a lot of you have seen Todd, who's one of our volunteers. Um, Todd's the guy that's welcoming people in a lot of the time. He has a uh, waterless um, and paint correction business. This is one of uh, Todd's customers. So if you like what you're seeing here, you need someone to do some uh, a waterless detail on your car, Todd is your guy. Isn't this beautiful? Love the color. It's you know so different. Her shifter in there. That is great. Love it. Really love it. Piece of trivia, 1967. Those headlights were operated electrically. In 1968, they went to a vacuum system because in the colder climates of the US, the drive mechanisms were frosty, uh, freezing over and they were actually uh, burning out the electric motors. So, uh, but later on, a lot of guys converted them back to electric because it's more reliable than using the vacuum actuator. Corvette, Chevy 2. Dane's also a car of the week winner. This is running an LSX transplant. This is actually a Chevy SS. 
running the Holden badging. A uh, G8 Corvette. Special car from a very special person. This uh, belongs to a, uh, let's just call him what he is. He's like my, my US father. He's uh, a, a, my a best mate Pete, this is his dad's car. He's uh, moved over to uh, the Carolinas and he's just come back for the weekend. And so he's, Pete got his car out of storage for him. So beautiful car. I've had the privilege of driving this thing. Oh, it's just, just so good. Next to it, Cobra replica. And then uh, uh, Robert's brought out his Celine Jaguar. Three Jags in a row. Look at them through here. Beautiful Corvette next to an equally beautiful uh, Porsche next to a beautiful 240Z. What a, a mix of cars. A, a Celine, I think. And then um, a SVT, a Cobra actually. Um, Ford, Mustang, Viper, Lexus, the air ride on that. Beautiful 90 series um, Defender. Oh, lovely. Uh, Cobra, Corvette, Mustang, 65 Riviera, love that car. Austin Hilly, really neat under the hood. GT350, Pantera. Um, another really nice uh, Camaro. This is a 68, same color we saw before. This one's really interesting because it's got a V8 in it and you would think it is an SS, but it's actually not. It's running 327, but it's actually, a, believe it or not, it's a base model. This has been a car of the week winner as well. Notice that column shifter on the thing and um, it has a bench seat in the front and yet it has the stainless steel work of an SS. So this is back in the days when you could option a car however you wanted. Somebody obviously had limited funds, wanted that V8, but then just kept a lot of the stuff off. So really cool car, makes it special these days. Mercedes obviously on air ride, a Challenger, a couple of BMWs, actually three, an older one here on the end. Now this is kind of cool to see. This has got Austin America on the side, but of course this is a, uh, a British car. Austin or part of a British motor company in the UK. This, think of this, there was a few different cars in this size, obviously starting the Mini, and then you went to this, and then you had the, the Morris 1100, which was the big brother of the of the group, which was actually a, a four-door, but great car, running basically the same running gear as the Mini did at the time. They had different uh, size engines in them, but, um, and of course this was one of the first east-west uh, front wheel drive cars that were around, and it was a really cost-effective way of doing it. Now, as someone who's owned a Mini, if you asked me to work on one and get that motor out again, that would be a big negatory. I could pull the motor in and out of my Camaro about 15 times before I could get those constant velocity joints off the front of this thing. But still a great little car. The other thing, and I'm not sure if this one had it or not, these guys obviously own this car. Does it have hydroelastic suspension? Yes, sir. Yeah, which is, so basically there was fluid that could move from the front to the back of the car, which gave it a really good ride over rough roads until you burst that hydraulic line and it would sit there with one leg down like a limp dog. So... This, this gentleman at the back is just he's going about to show it. Look, so look at it bouncing around there. Great little car. Really appreciate you bringing out. This is late 60s, I'm guessing. 70. 70, okay, yeah. So right on that cusp of changing. So there we go. One of the things they used to do, they used to make a waterproofing kit. You notice the, the distributor cap sitting right at the front. So you imagine you're in England and it rains a lot and the rain goes through the, the, the front of the grill. There's no radiator there. The radiator's on the side. It's actually pulling air through the wheel well. So the rain's coming through the front, straight onto the radiator cap, and we all know what that does, don't we? Thing starts running like a dog. So they used to make a waterproofing kit. So I appreciate you bringing it out. Thank you. Nice looking Chevelle, really clean. Beautiful 442. And then a Sylvia. Look at this next. Wow, that's great, isn't it? There's that RB26 engine. I still have a real soft spot for those, I, even over the R35, obviously running the V in it. I think something about those inline sixes, which was really cool. Nice, really clean there. Another Volkswagen here, really clean. Look at Porsche, looking Porsche next to its uh, cousin, the Volkswagen. Another one here. Look at the color of that, it's lovely. Next to a Speedster, beautiful Woody. And then this is the car that was towing that um, that beautiful Airstream we looked at before, 56 very rare car it's actually notice it's it's got no back doors these were built exclusively for things like military applications so very cool one of our regulars supercharged mustang next to a 32 next to another 32 this one for sale very clean dance Ford delivery love that thing buick good looking car porsche mercedes nice looking bronco little subaru brz jeep i like those uh it's a rectangular headlight, beautiful 34, running some world racing wheels on it. Some little skinnies on the front, some massive rubber on the back, Mickey Thompson's. 
what a great looking car, 34. Of course, made famous, uh, the guys from, well, Hot Rods and things like the, the movie American um, American Graffiti, but also ZZ Top's Eliminator car was a 34 like that. And then this beautiful El Camino. Right, another potential car of the week. I love this thing, look at it. Running really, really low, 29. Look at the, the color of this thing, the roof, small block chef, dual carbs in front of it. Single Black Betty, oh, so good, another 29, wow. This running a win, supercharger on that small block. It's the big Holly double pumper sitting on the top there. Really nice, very, very uh, much a potential car of the week winner, this thing. Both are, how do I choose between the two? Look at the metal flank on the dash and everything. Really good, beautiful cars. AMG, oh, this is nice too, look at this. There's so many potential car of the week winners. This Buick 8, look in there. 572 big block, that is sweet. Wow, that's a nice looking car. Running some first wheels on it. This is 50 Buick, brought it in the dash, and the seat, sorry. Wow, that thing would not be uh, slow with that motor. Really nice looking 69. Nice Chevy there as well. Chevy 2, C7 Corvette, running one of those uh, Air Force intake manifolds like we saw in Dane's car before. Good manifold actually. Corvette, Corvette. Another one here. LS7, that's Bob's uh, car there. That's pretty, isn't it? Another Buick 8, another Corvette. 55 Chevy, pretty car. It's a 210, so it's got back pillars. Um, Ford, it's a nice little thing. Mercury Woody. I'm gonna go use Ford Hot Rod. Room. Another Ford here. Our regulars, nice little Mustang C7. All our regular guys here. Good morning, gentlemen. Always good to see you. E Type Jag. Subi, bit of carbon fiber on this guy. Look at the, the fenders in front. Uh, front bumper, really nice. BMW. Falcon. So another one here, the inline six, and then a uh, Cutler Supreme down the end here. Okay, this beautiful looking charger we've seen here before. Um, you know, a few years ago, no one would be interested in this thing because it's running the Slant 6, but now this is probably a very special and more collectible car because it's, you don't see many of those 6s around. So really great to see. Nice looking Mustang. Uh, Chevy, look at that, running an LS transplant. Vito, a 1955 uh, F100. You can tell the difference between a 55 and a 56 because a 56 has a wraparound windshield. 55 had a straight windshield like that. Beautiful looking C10. Nash, he pulled in, I said, that's the nicest looking driving shoe I've ever seen. Such a great car. Nice looking E-Type and British Racing Green, C7. Look at the row of Corvettes through there. Beautiful. Viper, 34, Woody. Really nice looking Jeep. That's nice, isn't it? Chevy 2 running a high, high rise manifold on a big block. That's the way you do it. Beautiful. Uh, Mac 1 Mustang. BMW, Porsche, next to an MGB. Interesting color, I don't think that's original. Another MGB, next to an MGB GT. Look at the two different greens here. I'd say the one on the left is definitely more your British racing green. So neat and clean. Look at those twin SUs. I love working on those. Notice the engine's very similar to what we just looked at in that little Morris. Basically still part of British Motor Corporation, so they share a lot of similarities. Another one here, red. Really nice Jawa Jupiter. The first, uh, look at that. It's like the old Porsche, or well, new Porsche engines too, that uh, boxer engine. Beautiful looking 68 running. Now that's the same engine as you'll see in a uh, Gen 5 Camaro running that uh, ZL1 or the previous model Cadillac CTSV. Good motor, LSA it's called. 69 Camaro, a uh, Mustang carbon fiber hood on that. Porsche, that beautiful, uh, 1929 we looked at before. So these are kind of cool. Look at these beautiful little scooters. Compact Allstate, I've never heard of them before. Tiny little engines, I'm guessing they're probably no more than about 25cc. Really great. BMW leaving us there. Next to us, Rickman Matisse, regular motorcycle here. Beautiful, look at this. Some Porsche um, bicycle there and then a, a, a pedal bicycle up there, kind of cool. Love this um, Volkswagen with the Porsche thing on the side. Um, Chevy, Supra, one of our regulars. Nice NSX, love these wheels. Look how deep dish the back are. This thing's obviously had the back end widened. I'm not normally a fan of that, but you know what, love it. Uh, RX7, love the little rotary symbol on the hood there. Volvo station wagon, one of the safest cars you can get. 
Toyota 86, Infinity, and then uh, Toyota, Mustang, Scion FRS, Subaru. Big crowd today. Cobra, uh, Charger, Mitsubishi, little Ford ST, Ferrari, nice looking C10. That thing uh, came in earlier, sounds great. 442, Hellcat, um, beautiful looking Impala in front of that, that uh, sled that we featured this car a week, a few weeks ago. Come back to that minute at Hudson. Cadillac, next to a uh, Chevy Corvette, Mustang, great looking Ford delivery, Chrysler, another uh, Charger there, Corvette. Charger, Challenger, and then uh, I think they were called a Magnum. Z06, C7. LSX in that uh, Gen 5 Camaro. Cobra, beautiful looking C1 Corvette, love it. Another Corvette there with a 427. Some C6s there, another Corvette here. Beautiful, beautiful looking 57 in that blue. Classic Ford there, Cobra. BMW. These things have got a big pulling big bucks these days too. The Z8. Nice looking blazer. Ford convertible. 55 Chevy. And then of course this car. This is what made the movie Christine famous. Challenger. Uh, Mustang. Tesla wrapped in green. Mini, all four. Well, this is nice. A big old Oldsmobile tornado. Wow. DeLorean. I wish this guy would go back and get me an almanac. Um, nice looking uh, Gen 5 Camaro there, carbon fibre hood on it, beautiful Chevy truck. Split bumper, uh, Gen 2 uh, Camaro, Hummer, one of our regulars, beautiful tea bucket. Cool looking Ford truck there, check that thing out. Hell, uh, Demon, Dodge Demon, not a Hellcat. Um, Corvette, that's a pink Mustang if ever I've seen one. Jeep, C7, a couple of them in a row. BMW, LT4 in that uh, nice looking uh, Corvette there. And uh, I like the shake of hood on that uh, Challenger. Whip, uh, supercharger on this thing, Whipple, on this um, Charger. Really nice. Subaru, Ford, Corvette. Camaro, this thing's super tough. BMW station wagon. Corvette. Here's this Hudson Super 6 I was talking about. It was car of the week. Very nice. Owned by Kiwi. Cute little Subaru. Master 3. La Forza. Look at that. Sadies. One of our regulars. This rat rod here was really cool. Love that colour, that BMW. Another BMW there. LS transplant and that thing. Very cool. BMW, BMW, Porsche. Gen 5 Camaro and then a Mustang up here. Corvette, the guys from gwagonparts.com. This thing is so imposing. Check out the stance, the size of the wheels. Um, they, these guys bring some cool stuff in. Look at that hood, carbon fibre. Uh, so gwagonparts.com, actually a friend of mine, Brian, they do some great work. Maserati, Corvette, a little 240SX next to a Subaru, next to a Volkswagen. Look at those BBS wheels, really interesting. Um, this is a previous car of the week winner as well. This is a cute little Mazda, but it's running a three motor engine, three rotor engine out of a Unos, which of course was uh, Mazda's attempt at a luxury brand. Um, this thing sounds great, goes great. Uh, really nice Audi there. Classic Jeep, BMW, Mitsubishi, another Mitsubishi here, 3000 GT, Nissan, Toyota there. Miata, Porsche, Miata, Nissan, another uh, Supra there, nice little GTO, Porsche, beautiful C10, we've got a couple of uh, Focus STs coming in here, that one is, uh, really nice little 32, pretty small block, Galaxy, Civic Type R, classic charger, very nice. Next to another beautiful one, drop top on that thing. Little Morris, 1100 me thinks. What a great little uh, uh, delivery van that is. Pontiac, station wagon, 
Corvette. Another really nice 69 Camaro there. Very nice Corvette. Mustang. Interesting 32, the way they've chopped the nose of it down and shortened the grill and the radiator. Uh, Volvo, P1800 station wagon. Mustang and then a Mac 1 down here. Audi R8 Subaru STI. TRD Toyota there. Beautiful look, looking Scout, love the colour. RX-7, Nova. A couple of Mustangs. I was pretty, look at the motor in that. Very impressive, something get newer. Corvette. A uh, Gen 5 Camaro, the same colour as mine. Something doesn't look right on that front bumper. Can't quite put my finger on it, but... <laughs> Great looking Chevy truck. 39, I think the guy said, we pulled in Ford. Alfa Romeo, love that car. Subaru, Royal BMWs, a couple of them there. Porsche, 442. Porsche again, Lexus, Master Speed 3 STI, or no, it's not a STI, it's just WRX. Uh, classic Camaro there, next to a new one. Infinity, next to a Nissan, a couple of them. Mustang, two of them there blower on that one Jeep it's good suspension on uh, on that thing some BMWs grey is kind of cool Honda another Honda there R35 Ford there a uh, brand new uh, Aston Martin check that out just sitting in the back of the parking lot the things we see a bullet edition newer Mustang that's really nice Mitsubishi Evo M5 BMW station wagon little Toyota truck there Mustang and a uh, Sadie's at the end here Lexus BMW classic Chevy Woody Mustang Golf Toyota there next to a Lexus next to a Silverado tough sounding Mustang going there Porsche. Interesting custom front end on this thing. Interesting to hear that Mustang lumping like that. Because of their overhead cam system, they don't naturally lump. They can they can vary their cam time and you actually have to tune that into lump, whereas something like my Camaro, you change the cam, you've got no choice, it's gonna lump. Another Mustang there, sounds good. Um, Harley over there. All our regulars through here, GT350. Another one through there. Another one, another one. <laughs> Nissan, that's a healthy sounding car, got some nice size on the back of it too, I think they're Toyos. Very nice, another Mustang there, another one there. Classic Mercedes, hard to hear with that thing isn't it? Sign FRS, can't complain, love the sound of it. Corvette, Master Speed 3, Civic Type R, BMW, WRX, M3. Oh, look at that while we move past the... Uh, Opening there, BMW. Look at the row of them through here. Some classic BMWs through here. Great to see. We love it when clubs come in. Always give us a bit of heads up if you can. We'll hold you some special space. Some really classic stuff there. Very lifted Ram sitting here. And then uh, Audi heading over the crowd. Challenger. And then a uh, Honda. Nice little GTI. Interesting wrap on that BMW 760i Mustang Carrera S. Big old Cadillac. Look at that thing. Look at the interior. It's the same color as the outside and that sort of nail polish paint you'd call them, I guess. How cool is that? Uh, I am not sure what this is. I think this is the car we had in the other day, mid-engine. Very interesting. I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's built on something else like an MR2, but uh, interesting to see. Next to it, beautiful 57 Belair. This no, thing's interesting, isn't it? So it's a trike. Vanderhall. Really? Dust Vanderhall. Welcome, James. Welcome. So we, do we know what it's powered by? Uh, for a 1.5 litre four cylinder turbo. Interesting, isn't it? Very cool. Then we've got these Mopar guys that's come along today. Look at this. A row of these guys. Look at the custom work under there. And then a, uh, look at this. It's 
through here, through here. Whole row of them. We saw them pull in this morning and said, hey, do you want to park together? We've brought them over to this side. So the big tip is if you are part of a club like these guys, please give us notice in advance and we will uh, reserve this row that we've done here. But if we don't know, sometimes we'll start parking people in this row and, and uh, we won't be able to help you. Hellcat, a lot of detail under the hood of that one. Very nice. Challenger, Charger, another one. Ringing in there, Yamaha. All the way through here. Mopar heaven for all those uh, Hemi lovers. Interesting camo wrap on that one. All the way through and then interesting uh, wrap on this one down here. Look at that. Okay, Yet another one. Corvette, Magnum, Ferrari. But I think this is probably not the real deal. Because if it was, it'd be worth so much money, someone wouldn't be driving it. So, but really interesting to see. Pantera, Ferrari, Porsche, BMW, got a Harley in there, Audi, Lambo, 675 McLaren, and then the new NSX. Right, let's do some motorcycles. Harleys, Yamaha. Kawasaki, that chopper, a lot of work and time and money's gone into that. Honda, Harley, another one, Yamaha, Yamaha, this little thing, look at it, so cute. Smelled good when it came in too, smelled like a model airplane. Little Trail 110, believe it or not, the postal workers in Australia used to deliver their mail with a bag on the front of one of these things. So there was a dozens of these, or hundreds of these running around in Australia. Typically they'd end up on farms where people would use them just to run around and round up the sheep, but uh, interesting. The uh, postal workers here are spoiled, I'll tell you. Harley Davidson, another chopper. Nice looking BMW, very, very nice. Little Vespa in green, Triumph Scrambler. That is lovely. Love the uh, mesh over the, over the grill. Nice color as well. Wow, that's nice. Uh, Honda, great color. Yamaha, Suzuki, and then finally down the end here, an end Indian, and uh, let's finish up with a Ducati. So that's it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. What a great turnout. Some really special stuff. Thanks to the guys uh, from Rolls-Royce for bringing along that great lineup of cars. Also that Mopar Club that showed up. We were totally unaware they were coming. Such a great turnout for vehicles. Um, big thank, of course, to Ruby's for bringing out the coffee and the donuts. Uh, Rockwell's for bringing out their food truck, and of course, outlets of San Clemente. Please try and support the businesses in there as much as you can as a thank you for allowing us to be here. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.